Most Christian fundamentalists would say that the tarot cards is evil. It is because they always associate tarot cards with black magic, sorcery, or evil spirits. However, that's just not the case. According to Carl Gustav Jung, a world-renowned psychologist in the 19th century, he said that the tarot cards is actually just uh, a creative expression of the collective unconscious of humanity, whereby the tarot cards exhibit different archetypes that is embedded within the human psyche. Let's try to discuss this very quickly. Three things. First is the collective unconscious. The unconscious minds of humanity is actually interconnected and it's like a database whereby all the memories, all the experiences that the human race has is embedded within the collective unconscious. Now what are archetypes? Archetypes are patterns or let's say images or figures that represents something within humanity and these different archetypes are within the collective unconscious. As humans, we have similar traits even though we are coming from different race, different culture, or different tradition. All of these archetypes are within the unconscious mind and the archetypes are numbering to hundreds or even thousands or maybe even infinite, we don't know. However, according to Carl Jung, all these archetypes are the ones managing or are the ones at play when we are living our lives every day. And number three is synchronicity. What is synchronicity? If we pay attention to everything that is happening to us, everything in our lives is being synchronized. All the actions that we are doing, all our thoughts, all our emotions, they are somewhat in synchronicity. Now, what about the tarot? Okay, so since the tarot, according to Carl Jung, is just a retelling or the reinterpreting of these uh, different archetypes from uh, the human mind expressed in creative um, imagery, if you will shuffle the deck randomly, you will be putting your own synchronicity to the card. Why is this very important? It's because the archetypes are at play depending on your mood right now, where you are right now, your state of mind right now, your condition right now. When a reader reads the cards, it will somewhat tell you your current state of mind and we will be able to gain insights about the future not because we know for certain what is the future but according to the data that the tarot gets the most probable future that we will be seeing are the ones that we have picked we are living in a universe of infinite possibilities and probabilities however based on your actions right now and based on your previous actions and your state of mind right now the ones that you are seeing on the cards are the most probable things that might happen in the future. However, it's not absolute because you will be always be able to change that if you will be changing what you are doing and what you are thinking right now. So I hope that makes sense.